excuse me hey weirdos welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here so if you guys watched my last video i went black friday shopping with one of my best friends jeanne we had so much fun we went to super walmart and we went to ulta today i'll be showing you guys my black friday haul oh my goodness look at this this is disgusting I always think buying things will make me feel better and then I'm like, nope, but I still like it. So first of all, the sweater that I'm wearing is actually from Super Walmart and I got it on Black Friday. So it's an extra large because that's the only size they had left. So I got it anyways and it's a cute little um, Rugrats sweater and it's actually super super soft on the inside it has that like kind of like fleece material so it's super super comfortable and i love baggy clothes anyway so i really don't care if clothes are you know a bigger size of course if it's just like a hoodie or a crew neck or sweater i actually prefer it to be baggy so i really don't mind by the way this was only ten dollars it was ten dollars even so that's pretty cool I also got this super cute like flannel hoodie type thing so basically like yeah it has the strings and it has the gray hood in the back like that and then it's just like this nice little hoodie and then it's adjustable on the bottom which is really cool but I really like flannels so I thought it would be super comfy and it was definitely my style mind you this is all from Walmart so this was so I think this was originally $15 but with the Black Friday sale it was only $5 which is amazing another item from Walmart that I got this is also an extra large and this was a large they were pretty out of like small and mediums but like I said I love baggy clothes I feel more comfortable so I got this Christmas sweater and it says instead of gifts I'm giving everyone my opinion and I thought that was really funny because it's just like lighthearted and funny obviously it's not supposed to be in a mean way but I thought that was really funny because you know the holidays you know bring up a lot of things with relatives like oh when you having kids when you going to college when you're gonna do this what do you want to do with your life where do you see yourself in five years so I thought it was just kind of like lighthearted funny this cute sweater so it looks like this and it has the little justies on the bottom and it just it's super super simple but I wanted something simple because like I said I really didn't bring that much stuff here like I should have clothes wise and everything so now I feel like I have a little bit more options to wear and they were super cheap I think this was also like five or ten bucks so so that's everything that I got from Walmart um, and now we are moving on to this big old Ulta bag which I would hold up again but girl it's heavy the first thing that you guys saw me pick up in the vlog of me and my friend Jeanne going into Ulta on Black Friday was this little guy right here um, I love Makeup Revolution and I Heart Revolution. I think they're like sister brands or it's the same brand but different collections. I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. But this is I Heart Revolution and I love both brands so, so, so much. And I've been trying to get my hands on their little donut palettes for so long. I remember... Um, in England because it is a UK brand like Aaron can vouch for me that I have literally called um, Super drug stores because super drug is a drugstore makeup store in Europe. It's very popular So I've called super drug and I've also gone into a couple of their stores to see if they have these and then around Easter time They came out with the egg palettes and I really 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 wanted those and they said it would be in the store And then it wasn't and it was super confusing and I didn't really want to order it to be honest so long story short I finally found some so I'm super excited I'm actually going to open these and I just want to see what they look like because I've been waiting a long time <gasps> they're squishy oh my gosh oh my gosh Ugh, okay so this is it without the case they're so cute and look they're literally squishy so there's this chocolate one I'm gonna oh the little plastic thing came off whatever so this is the chocolate one and it's called chocolate caramel and that is so pretty that is so pretty for like a going out night like a new year's night i'm gonna swatch this sparkly black oh that's pretty it could be a little darker oh okay it's buildable that's a good thing um there we go so you can see like the sparkles and stuff um really 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 pretty but oh my god it's so cute i've always wanted their little donut palettes oh my gosh for all of these like donut palettes which there's six of them it was 18 bucks i'm pretty sure it was like a holiday kit sale type thing okay so next i'm going to show you guys the vanilla frosting um donut palette so i'm going to open it up oh 
Okay, it's not a palette, it is a highlight, my bad. Um, let's see, I'm gonna, ooh, it feels very, very, very soft. Ooh, okay, okay, it's very subtle, but it's still very like sheeny and pretty. It's probably not focusing very well because it's so similar to my skin color, but it looks like something that would be really nice um, for my winter shade because of how pale I get so that's really cute and like I said it's so cool how they're like squishy at the top that is so cute and I feel like they're cute for traveling like they're just very small and like I don't know they're just so cute to have in your collection I guess if you're a makeup lover and then there's this pink one this is pink frosting there's it looks like it's just two blushes I like how it has little swirl on it oh cute really 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 pretty this one looks like it has like a sheen to it and this one looks like more matte normal but that's super cute so i'll have to try that out in like a full face chit chat thing i don't know then this one is peanut butter and jelly this is another eyeshadow palette and that is so cute i love the name of it i really like the theme of it too i feel like they're very similar like the this one's more of like a purpley and this one's more of like a dark but they are kind of similar next is the cinnamon sugar and this is a bronzer i think that's really cool that they put in instead of just doing all donut palettes i think it's really cool that they threw in some blush some bronzer and like a little mystery one so this is a bronzer so it looks like this and open it up that is a pretty dark bronzer. I feel like I could possibly use this in the summertime if I go really light-handed. Sometimes bronzers look really dark and then you put them on and they're really not that dark. Or I could use it as like an eyeshadow. Um, we'll see how that works. If not, I can always give it to a friend that has deeper skin than me. But we will see how it works. So lastly, we have this mystery one and it just says I Heart Revolution on the back. Oh, I think it's a blending sponge. That's probably why it's in there. I thought it was like a mystery thing. Mm, I don't know. What is this? What the heck? What the heck? Why would it? Okay, what? What is? I just. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? Oh my god! I don't know if you guys saw that on camera, but I literally just like fumbled them. Why would they? Put... Okay. I love I Heart Revolution. Why would they put them in the box like that? Like they were in a circle, like a donut, which is cute, but I can't even see it because it's not see-through. So you get all these little sponges. They're super freaking soft. Um, I just put my hands all over them. I'll probably give some to Pedro because he does drag makeup, so he probably goes through these a lot. So that was the I Heart Revolution um, donut little holiday kit collection. It was $18, and you get two... You get two um, eyeshadow palettes. You get a bronzer, and then you get two blushes, and you get a highlight. So you pretty much get a full face of donut you know a little donut collection so I think that's really cool so there's five of them because clearly I can't count and then you get some sponges which is cute they throw that in there um, although those kind of sponges aren't my favorite sometimes it's necessary for like Halloween makeup or a fun makeup so that's really cute I, I like that it's not my favorite thing but I think it's really gimmicky and cute and if you're into gimmicky and cute things for your collection because you just love collecting stuff and trying it out I think it's worth it but if not honestly I don't think it's anything that's like life-changing so like it just depends how you feel all right so now getting into some other stuff so I have been looking for this palette for a very long time I don't know if I get demonetized I won't be surprised but I'll be kind of disappointed <laughs> um, so I've been looking for this palette for a long time um, before I moved I tried finding it at Ulta and it was always sold out the first time I went to Ulta since coming back to America it was sold out so every time I've gone to Ulta it has been sold out but when I went to Ulta on Black Friday they finally had a few of them left and I was super excited so please don't judge me. You're probably going to judge me anyways. But this is the Makeup Revolution London Chilled with Cannabis um, palette. And it is so pretty. I love the colors. And I don't know. I just really love it. And I've always wanted to review it. And I've swatched it in the store. And the color scheme is really, really pretty. And I've just always really wanted to try it. So I just took the little plastic thing off. And this is what it looks like. Super pretty. And then this is... Ooh, let me take this out. I hate when those things fall. So this is the color scheme of the palette. It's super, super pretty. Let me go more up close. So um, I don't have this many greens at all, and I actually love using greens around Christmas time and around 
um, St. Patrick's Day or pops of color or just playing around and oh my god some of these like shimmery colors like metallics those look so stunning and I just love the this just the whole layout of it. I don't know, I just think they're really cool. So I'm sorry if this like offends you or bothers you, but I don't know, I think this is a really cool palette and it's just something that I'm into. So I will definitely be doing a dedicated video to this or like do it in like a chit chat get ready with me or something. Um, but I really wanna review this and try it on my lids and I'm super excited to play around with it. I have so many palettes that I've gotten since being back home that I really want to play around with so there's going to be a lot of makeup videos and dedicated palette videos or chit chat get ready with chit chat get ready with me videos so I hope you guys are down for that because I just have so many new products that I bought in and I'm so excited and I know they're not all like super new because I'm always late on trends because I either can't afford it or because I just can't get my hands on it so I hope you guys understand that but I am super excited to start reviewing and playing around with some palettes for you guys all right so next um these oh this by the way I forgot how much it was usually their palettes are like pretty much from like 10 to 25 bucks, but I think this was one of their cheaper palettes. I think it was 15 bucks actually. I'm pretty sure it was 15 bucks. These were on sale for $25. Sorry, I almost didn't remember how much it was. And I really, really like their, I think it's their sun-kissed one. I can't remember. It's like the brown-ish packaging. And I've always really wanted that, but it just is not gonna work with my pale skin tone. So I got something that I would be able to use more often. This is their Sugar Glow Kit. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Oh, okay. That plastic said nope. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So I figured that would be a much, much better, more realistic skin tone for me. So um, you have marshmallow, gumdrop, starburst, and butterscotch. The only other Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight palette that I have is their Nicole Guerrero one where they did the... Um, metal or the, not the metal the metallic highlights which you've never done before until then I think that palette is literally the best highlight palette like one of the best high-end um, highlight palettes that I have and it is so smooth and like wet and just beautiful I wish they would come back out with it because mine is like destroyed literally I'm gonna swatch marshmallow and we're gonna see we're gonna see so that's marshmallow I feel like it almost has like a yellow undertone which I wasn't expecting but at the same time like it's all right um and then there's butterscotch so but they do look so wet Ooh, I feel like I'm gonna love a butterscotch okay I'm probably gonna use butterscotch like all the time um but they're so super gorgeous and I figured it would I don't know I like how they have different options for skin tones so that's awesome and it was 25 bucks when usually I think it's like 40 next you guys okay so when I went, okay, so I'm going to talk about ColourPop because I got a couple things from ColourPop which I was so surprised but happy that Ulta had some ColourPop in store because usually ColourPop is only on their website. But yes, I did get um, two ColourPop palettes, so it's Disney Frozen 2, and I got the Anna and Elsa palette. And they are so, so pretty. So that's what they look like. Um, and they're so cute and small. I kind of didn't realize how small they were in person, but I love that. So I made a mistake and I just want to like say this so on my live when I went live the other night I was talking to a couple women and oh what's her name I'm gonna give her a little shout out I want to give her a little bit of a shout out because I was specifically mostly talking she was like where is she <laughs> I'm like where is she so her YouTube and Instagram I think is eye of the beholder um, so I was talking to her on live there's a few of you but she was talking to me about ColourPop and she was um, sharing her ColourPop collection with me which her collection is incredible I'm so jealous and that's so cool I told everybody on ins on my live that I had never tried their shadows before obviously I have ColourPop products because you guys know if you've seen my makeup collection video or just some of my random videos like I, I do have ColourPop like lipsticks and um, liquid eyeshadows and all of that I do have ColourPop um, products so it's not like I've never tried ColourPop I just said on live that I've never tried their shadows and I was wrong um, I actually do have one ColourPop palette that I almost forgot that I had I have the Kathleen lights the zodiac palette because I bought the whole collection when it originally came out and now they've added on to it so I don't have like the loose pigments and stuff but I have the original whole 
the Zodiac with Kathleen Light's collection. So I was wrong, and I'm sorry, I swear, I just totally forgot that I have that palette. I've only used it a few times, so I don't really remember. I remember it being really good, but I just haven't used ColourPop in a long time. But that's my fault. I wanted to address that, because if you watch my makeup collection video, you can see the palette, like I talk about it. So like, I don't know where my brain was the other night, so I'm so sorry, but I have tried their shadows and I love them, but I'm excited to try two new ones. So I'm gonna open these up real quick and swatch a couple of them. So this is Elsa, oh my God, I haven't even seen it. Oh my God, so this is Elsa, it's super pretty artwork. Um, I like how her eyes get like really glossy when you point them up. And then that's the back, it has like the names. So you have, oh, hold on, let me open it. So this is what it looks like when you open it. Um, it's super, super cute. It's really small, really small. Oh my God, if you guys have seen Frozen 2, these names are, are so cute. They're literally gonna make me cry. This is Cuddle Close. If you've seen the movie, it makes sense. So this is Cuddle Close, Fire, Northern Lights, Gale, Flurry, Winter, or that's water, sorry, that's water. Awakened, Ice Crystals, and Bin Drift. So yeah, those are really, really pretty. Sorry, I'm like having to, <gasps> oh my God, okay. They're not playing. <gasps> what the freak is this? Okay, there's a lot of fallout, just warning, but what the heck is this? What the heck? Oh my God, it's literally like, it almost reminds me of the Tarte Mermaid glitter, but it doesn't smell like toxic waste abomination <laughs> um, which I love the Tarte mermaid glitter but it does smell horrendous it, it, there's a lot of fallout so really instead of I would suggest instead of like going like that into this middle shade I would suggest tapping it and then putting it wherever you want whether it's like a highlight or on your lids oh my god oh my god oh my god <sighs> shut the hell up shut up Shut up. Oh my god. Okay, that is so pretty. Yeah, so with glitters like this that have a lot of fallout and they have that weird texture because this is definitely a weird texture, um, I would suggest tapping it instead of rubbing it because if you rub it, you're going to waste a lot of product. It's going to fall out and it's going to be very messy. If you tap it, you get what you need and that's it, girl. That's it. Um, but these are so pretty. I want to try um, ice crystals too. This is super, super pretty. This is one of their like normal shimmer. Oh my god. God, ColourPop. All right, ColourPop, you ain't playing games. Why do people sleep on ColourPop again? AKA me. <laughs> like, I've never insulted ColourPop. I've just, I've never tried enough of their products, you know, to really know what they're about. I've only tried their Kathleen collab stuff, but oh my God, that's so pretty. I'm gonna swatch a couple of shades from Anna and then we're gonna get going with the rest of the stuff because I still got um, a good amount of stuff to show you guys. So this is Anna, and I love how they each have their own palette. I think that's really cool. So I saw it two nights in a row, and I literally said to myself, I was like, I really want to go again. Like, I, I, would, I would literally see that movie again for a third time, because it's so good. And I'm not usually like that with movies, but... So this is Anna. I have it upside down because of the mirror, so sorry. Uh, but this is Anna. So it looks like the middle shade is more of a, like, face and... It's just more of a glitter, so I'm tapping into it instead of rubbing it so I don't waste product, but I'm gonna swatch it on my hand because I really don't need gold on my face today. That's really, really, really pretty. I know my camera is not really focusing well. So you have Scooch In, Wind, Earth, Adventure, Arendelle, Autumn Breeze, Warm Hugs, Fearless, and Charades. Oh my god, literally the names that they picked for these colors are so freaking accurate and and just so on point with the movie. If you see the movie, it just makes so much sense. So I'm going to swatch another one. I'm going to swatch Adventure, this like shimmery purple. It's really, really, really pretty. So I'm going to go right here. They seem to like blend and swatch really easily. So yeah, these are some of the shades from both of the palettes. So yeah, this is Anna and Elsa, and these are gorgeous palettes. I can't wait to play around with these. Sorry, my camera battery died, so I just had to change it um, out with my other one. So if you guys want to see me play with these palettes, I'd rather just do um, both of these palettes in one video. So I could do one eye Anna and one eye Elsa. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that. I'm probably going to do it anyways, but please 
motivate me i'm kidding but seriously these are so gorgeous and i'm so excited to play with these i love how small they are the names are so cute and they're so accurate to the movie like they're literally spot on um and oh my god i just love it because i don't know why but i am so obsessed with the frozen 2 i love the first one but there's something about the second one that just really hit my heart and each person i watched that movie with i feel like it all just hit our hearts and I don't know I just love it so much I'm like obsessed so these are really really cute so I'll show you guys a few little small things that I got and I'll show you the big thing for last because um I'm already talking a lot I'm sorry so I got these cute little cat ears they're like tinsel tinsel Christmas cat ears and yes they were from Ulta they had a whole like Christmassy section um, and they were so cute they weren't on sale but I got them anyways they were eight dollars and I figured I would wear them in my Christmassy videos. So I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna do a lot of Christmas looks, whether it's like simple or glam or like for a holiday party or for New Year's, for Christmas and like festive stuff. I'm gonna try and really, really do a lot of Christmas looks. I'm going to try. So I figured I would wear these in the videos to make it more Christmassy and get in the spirit. So next I've been wanting to try this. My friend back in Europe, um, she actually has tried this and it's helped her skin a lot. Um, last time I talked to her about this, um, she did really like it so I don't know how she's liking it now but it seems like she's really liked it and I've heard some good things about the brand and they're really affordable. They're in Ulta and they have their own website I think so. This is the brand The Ordinary and I've been wanting to try it since she mentioned it and I've heard about it from other people and like pages and stuff too but um, I don't really know much about all of this stuff because it's confusing like there's like percentages and pH stuff and and like all this formula stuff and like what is happening like I don't know so I don't know how I'm gonna like it but I told myself I should try it so I asked the skincare lady at Ulta she specializes in skincare I asked her I said hey like I need help I want to try this brand but I don't know what I should get she asked me about my skin I said I have super oily skin I have acne scars I get cystic acne I break out pretty often and usually it's hormonal um, so she said that this stuff should help me with like my hormone levels and she said it should help with my oil and my acne scarring so um, she does suggest like one of them to not leave on super long and to use it once a week. I can't remember which one so I'm going to have to google that. Um, please don't take my advice on this because I haven't tried it yet and I don't even know what I'm doing yet so please don't take my advice on it. Um, always ask a dermatologist or something because they're going to know best or go on their website and read about it because I am still learning and I haven't even tried it and I don't even know if I'm going to like it. My skin is kind of um, picky with skincare so we'll see how this goes but I'm excited to try this and I will keep you guys updated um, on my Instagram story if I like this or not so yeah be sure to check out my Instagram it's lindsaylaughs underscore and I will keep you guys updated. Alright so this is the last melon. The last oh my god wait this is not the last thing hold on i have one more little thing oh my gosh okay so my friend pedro has this really good brow gel and it's anastasia beverly hills brow gel i couldn't find it i was gonna ask but i don't know it was just it was busy okay it was busy in the store so i was gonna ask but then i was like you know what it's really crazy so um i got their dip brow gel so it's not clear gel which i'm kind of disappointed because i want a clear gel but it's okay i guess it's okay so <laughs> I got their dip brow gel in the shade blonde because I always get their brow whiz in the shade blonde and that's just the shade that I like using. It's a shade I have now. I just fill in like the front because I'm bald. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to like it because I've never used it obviously but it wasn't on sale or anything. Oh, was it on sale? I think it was on sale. I can't remember how much it was but I think it was on sale because it was at the front of the store. So it's really thin like that but the packaging is really pretty oh yeah that's really pretty okay I think I might like it let's try it really quick Ooh, okay okay I feel like it makes the color in my brows more even because like once you use a brow pencil you can kind of tell where you put the pencil and where you miss spots so I feel like this is gonna be really good for when I miss spots and also it has gel in it so it's gonna keep my hairs where they should be you know I'm so annoying but that's really cute I like that I'm gonna try the other side I like that I think I'm gonna like this oh 
I literally hate myself. As I say, I'm gonna like it. I like smudge it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, sorry, I too close. Ooh, okay. Okay. I'm not mad. I ain't mad about it. I ain't mad about it. I have like more bald spots, I think, on this side. I could be wrong. Um, this is really good. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know how it's going to wear all day, but as of right now, it's like really good and I really, really like it. So, oh, I like that. It makes my color more even because after I use the brow pencil, I love their brow whiz. But yeah, you can kind of like tell where I miss a spot because obviously the there's a slight difference between the pencil and my actual brow hair. But I really, really like this. I think it's going to help keep my brow my brows in place like the little hairs and I also think it's just gonna even my color so I really like this I actually really like this but I hope it lasts really good all day so as of now I really like it but I think I will because our brow product products are like amazing so now we have the big papa this is the last product that I got and this is actually a product that you guys highly suggested. There was somebody specific on my live who highly suggested this, which I told you guys, you guys are enablers. Honestly, I need to calm down with, I need to calm down with buying makeup because one Christmas is coming up and then, so I'm going to get presents anyways, probably from my sisters and stuff and Aaron. And then also I've already bought in so much stuff being here. Honestly. I'm set for a while. I have enough palettes to keep my channel going for a little bit, <laughs> so I honestly should be fine. And I've gotten all the palettes that I really have been wanting lately, or most of them. So okay, someone specific on my live, I can't remember who, so if you if you did, please comment down below. I would check, but it's so hard, it, then I'd have to go through all the live comments and that live was like two and a half hours, so I'm sorry. But someone specific, I don't know if it was Caitlyn or somebody else, but they suggested that I get the Anastasia Beverly Hills Vault. And oh my goodness, I am not disappointed. Um, so the value of this is $84, but you only pay $49. The packaging, oh my gosh, like so stunning. So, oh my gosh, I'm going to take this little thing off. There we go. There, oh my god, look at this. That is so pretty. I'm literally going to keep this too. I'm going to bring this back home. So, in the vault, you get the Modern Renaissance palette, which I already have, but mine's really beat up. I've already hit pan on, like, the bone color. And then a lot of the other ones are, like, very dented, so I feel like it's good. I have a backup. And it also comes with the Soft Glam. And I actually have been wanting Soft Glam. Anastasia Beverly Hills has been coming out with so many palettes that it's very overwhelming, to be honest. And I just... It, it'd be one thing if it they were all, like, super cheap, like, ColourPop, but they're not. Like, yeah, they're good quality, but, like, they're just... It's hard when they're expensive and they're coming out with a lot, you know what I mean? So they've been coming out with so many palettes that honestly I just haven't bought any new ones. Like the only one that I have is the Modern Renaissance. I actually just recently decluttered my Subculture palette one when I did my makeup declutter on my channel. But I've been wanting Soft Glam because I feel like it's a really good everyday color, especially for like the spring and summer when you're wearing lighter makeup usually. So this is what it looks like, and we're going to go right into it. <gasps> so super cute. Oh, it's so cute. It's like, hey, hello, here you go, Merry Christmas. So this is the, honest, so it has this little drawer, it's super cute. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. You guys have seen mine. Mine is so dirty, like this is dirty, and the inside is very dirty. So this is what it looks like when it's brand new. This is literally like an OG staple in everybody's makeup collection. I feel like this is a palette that everybody needs, whether you're a beginner or you're just starting out or you barely wear makeup or you're not that into it or you're a professional. It doesn't matter. I think everybody needs this palette. It is such a staple. So, and then the second drawer. <laughs> this is the Soft Glam palette. I've never, like, touched this in person, I don't think. And I have... <gasps> I already got it dirt... Was that me? I don't even think that was me. I literally cannot get it out. Okay, so this is the Soft Glam palette. Um, I already ruined it, but oh my gosh, I literally am so excited. I've been wanting this, I've been wanting this, oh my god. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. I know a lot of you are like, oh my gosh, like 
that is so plain like why do you want that but I just feel like exactly that's why I want it because it's so plain I have so many you know like interesting palettes um I am in the middle of trying to like repurchase um colorful like palettes to like replace my old colored palettes that I decluttered but this one is so simple I really really feel like I would use this every day and it's not going to overwhelm me like I probably would know which colors I would go into and which I would replace after a while but these are so beautiful I'm gonna um dip into sultry holy holy crap okay oh my god it literally feels like soft and buttery and like wet like it doesn't feel chalky or like eyeshadowy at all like it literally feels so freaking smooth that is so beautiful oh my god i'm gonna go into fairy oh my gosh so pretty oh my goodness I don't know. My camera's been weird lately. Um, but yeah, this is so beautiful, and I feel like this is such a pretty everyday palette, and it's just perfect, like soft glam. It's just simple, straight to the point. It has its purpose. It's going to help you every day, and it's not going to overwhelm you. And I feel like if you're a beginner, this would be really pretty too. But yeah, I really, really think I'm going to fall in love with this as well, because I love their formula, and I heard this one is really good. I know they had a couple hiccups with some other palettes, but I heard that this one is like the same quality as mine and renaissance so i'm actually gonna put this back in here i'm already getting it dirty like what is wrong with me <laughs> okay guys so i think that's it for everything that i got for black friday so um we had a lot of fun and she's a really good friend and it's fun hanging out and um yeah i need to chill i've been saying this for a while but i really need to chill with buying makeup and i just need to start playing with the makeup that i've already bought and so for the next while you guys are going to be seeing me um review palettes and do a bunch of looks and chit chat get ready with me's chit chat get ready with me's because um i'm gonna have to put myself on like a no buy for a little bit um and I'm being serious. I'm going to have to really try. I mean, if I get stuff for Christmas that's makeup related, I'll try and review it on my channel. But besides that, I need to chill out. So I love you weirdos so much. Thank you for watching this. I hope you guys had a very safe and happy Thanksgiving and Black Friday. If you guys celebrate that, if not, I hope you guys had a good and safe day anyways. I love you guys so much. Happy holidays to everybody, no matter what holiday you are celebrating. Um, I love you weirdos so much. Thank you for loving me and supporting me and everything that I do. And I hope you guys like this huge Black Friday haul from Super Walmart and Ulta. I love you weirdos so much. Thank you for all the love and support and make sure to enter my giveaway if you guys haven't already entered. It is the video that I did with Pedro where we, we are reviewing the Shane and Jeffrey palettes. I'm getting, I'm giving away one of the mini controversy palettes, this little guy right here. All of the rules on how to enter the giveaway are in the description and comments on the actual giveaway video. Um, and the giveaway ends on December 8th, and then I will announce the winner the next day or whatever, I don't know. So I will announce the winner on my Instagram story, so make sure to follow my Instagram, it's lindsaylaughs underscore. I love you weirdos so much, thank you for everything, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.